Hey guys, I am LB, and let's check out Launch by Serious Business. I'm sure the title's inspired by Ben 77 simple titles. I wanted to challenge myself to see how quickly I could create a map. This one took about four days, though it took a couple extra days to figure out a small glitch. It is my first attempt at creating a map in the underground style, and I think it went okay. I don't usually make maps in this style, but I figured I may as well give it a crack. It was also partly inspired by TMAS 98's Crossroads, which was uploaded around the same time I posted my previous map. The concept of this map was inspired by Wild Goose Speeder's ideas, Easter egg included. Right. Oh, it's got... Ooh. So, Wild Goose Speeder is the second author, even though, technically, it is only if inspiration. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. I like this detail of how you can clearly tell these used to be connected because of how they line up and they're both destroyed. That's not something you normally see in these old maps like this. Normally it's just disconnected and you don't see where it used to be connected to. Hmm... Alright, so, we are in the meat of things now. It's interesting that there's no fizzler coming into here, so if we manage to smuggle something into the elevator from the previous test, we could just bring it with us into this one. Of course, that's that's just, uh, in-universe stuff. Anyway, we have an area down here? What is this for? Bottom flange... Cr cracked? Bottom flange cracked. Okay, I guess that's just decoration. What is this area for, though? Is this like a place where we can loop with speed gel, or...? There's also portal surfaces up there... Hmm... What a curious little location. Why are these separated like that? Strange. Also, what is that connected to? I don't actually know what triggers that. I guess we'll find out. It's also this, which I still don't know what triggers it. Oh, that button probably triggers it, right? Yeah, that'd be my guess. Alright, let's just get it out of here while we still can. There we go. Maybe that's what triggers it? Is there an ant line to this that I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing any ant lines or signage on it. Oh well. Maybe it's that button. That button doesn't have any signage. Let's try that out. Well, that was trippy. I thought I was gonna fall to my death for a moment there. No, that button... ...goes by a wire to turn off that fizzler? Okay. That's our exit, though, right? So I guess we're gonna hit the wall there and fall onto the railing? Or something? No, I guess we're gonna land there. Yeah, out of that would land us there. And then I guess it connects to that eventually, somehow. Also, we're gonna keep in mind that there's an easter egg somewhere here. I don't know what it could be, but I'm sure it exists to some degree. Ooh, there's a flip panel there. Hmm. That's, uh... That's funny, you can put a portal on it on that side, and then I just suppose you can fly to your doom. That would be... quite misfortunate, wouldn't it? If possible, we should try and see what happens, like if I just fly into the wall there or what. What actually activates this, though? I'm- I'm really confused about that. It doesn't have any signage. And I don't see... I pressed every button, and nothing's doing anything. Am I missing something? Is there a whole area that I've missed or something? There's an- there's a catwalk back there, but that might just be easter egg or decoration. There's this, which I don't understand the purpose of just yet. Looks like the only way we can get a portal there is if we fall down here and shoot the portal there, like that. Yep, that's just the cube, not the orange gel. So... There's also portal surfaces in there, not that we would need them at all. Am I missing something? What? I don't... I don't understand. What am I missing? Do you guys see it? Because I don't see it. I do not see what I'm missing here. Hmm. What is through here? Nothing in particular. Is there anything back up this way at all? 
think that's just an exit requirement. That just means we have to have the key with us. I'm pretty sure that's a portal surface. Yeah, that's a portal surface. Right. Understood. That might be the easter egg there. Not sure how we would get to it, but that- that's an easter egg if I've ever seen one. Actually... There we go! There we go! Let us save and continue. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, we got portals where we need them. Yeah! That's why it was made so pronounced that I commented on it. It's because they wanted us to find out. <laughs> party mode activated. What does party mode do? Could I have seen this the whole time? Maybe? I don't actually know now. Could I have seen that the whole time? Maybe. I don't actually know. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. Maybe that's how I was supposed to get down there. <laughs> or maybe the lights and stuff don't turn on until... Ah, who knows. Another cracked bottom flange. What? Oh, I can crawl through here? What?! Apparently I am not too fat in this map. <laughs> Normally Chell is too fat to fit through that, but I can totally crawl through that. Wow, that's- that's a new one on me. Right, well... <laughs> now, since we haven't gone to the Easter egg yet, I wanna look and see... Yeah, you can totally still see it from here. How did I not notice that? Huh. Yeah, you can totally- you can totally, uh... Not this one, apparently. This one, you can crawl through- kind of? Kind of. There we go. Yeah! You just fit right through. And then, uh, good luck getting back in, I guess. Yeah, it's- it's, uh... Hmm. It's proven rather difficult... ...to get out of this predicament here. What is even happening to me right now? There we go, I did it! I saved myself! <laughs> now how do I activate the gel? How do I turn it on? Where does it go? It goes into the ceiling... ...and that's it. And there's no signage that I can see. Oh, is that- there's a button there this whole time? Oh my gosh, I feel really dumb. Right, well, I know what I need to do now. That's- how did I miss that? Holy crap. Should've figured that there was probably something up there. How- you guys probably saw that long before I did. There we go. There we go, alright. Quonk a portal there, walk all the way back, quonk a portal here, get a new cube, it's brand new, fresh hot off the process- presses, not process. Right, there we go. Now we can make actual progress. Hmm, we have to pass through this fizzler though to even get to the button, interestingly enough. Is this permanent, or... on a time limit? It's on a time limit. It only drops one bomb. Well... I suppose we could easily juggle it, right? It's just annoying because we have to clear our portals every time we do. We can't? Question mark? Strange... How did it get gel there? When did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, it's because of when I- I didn't have a, a second portal place. That's right, 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 right. Right, so. It seems we need to juggle it, but not back to- from whence it came. There we go. Yeah, because otherwise it hits that and it explodes. So that's not a good thing. So. What do we actually want to do here, though? That seems... mildly useful. Hmm. Except what, what would we do with this? We Absolutely no purpose. Alright. 
Well, there is something we can do. Let's try this. I've seen Deathwish do this before. I don't know if it'll work for me very well, though. Well, it's certainly working. Whee! Oh, wow. Yeah, that actually worked quite well. Wait, what? Did I break the map? What was that area for? Oh, I think that's just an escape path. Like, if you place both portals down there, then you can't see any other portal sur- Wait, No, yes you can! You can see that portal surface! What is that for? Did I break the map? What did I- I'm not entirely clear on what happened here. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe this is just step one. I sure hope this is just step one. What? Whoa. And the structures look there. They look cool. Right, well. Step one achieved, I suppose. Come on. Let's put this here and see what's up next. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. I feel like I broke this. I really feel like I broke this, because I never used that area. And like... If you place both portals down here like this, you can just get out by doing that, so... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know what the deal is with... with that. So strange. Maybe that trick I used was not intended, but... I mean, it certainly felt like it. Why else would that area exist and be structured like that? I don't know, I'm so confused. Huh. Well, I guess that's it for this. I'll look at the solution video or something. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!